This is Ariel Sullivan for IBA News. The Negev is in danger, and we're not referring to the rocket fire. The nonprofit research institute Regavim says illegal building and squatters pose a serious challenge to Israeli rule of law. Ari Briggs, the international director of Regavim, told IBA's Yochanan El Ram that the crisis in the Negev is a low priority for police and the government. There's actually a, quite a crisis going on down there. When we founded Regovim in 2006, we just pulled out of Gaza Strip. Gaza Strip's 360,000 dunams. Based on the research Regovim's done, we understand 800,000 dunams, more than double the size of Gaza Strip, has been taken in a legal land grab by the Bedouins in the Negev. Now you've been fighting those uh, illegal takeovers through the court system. Any other means involved? Well, it starts off, of course, with the research, getting the information so we can build a package that is unbeatable. A any judge has to accept what we've got uh, in, the, in the package. And uh, the other ways, of course, is police. I mean, the laws are actually the are on the books. The laws are on the books and trying to get the police to enforce the law. Uh, the rule of law is just so important down there. It doesn't only start with land. I mean, it's uh, traffic violations, it's uh, corruption and it's protection and extortion rackets that are going down there. So we're doing whatever we can to work with not only the police, the regional councils down there, and of course, what, when we need to go to the courts, we'll go to the courts to get things done. Now, is Regavim a political organization? So absolutely not uh, political. We're talking about the rule of law, the equal application of law for each and every person in this country, that whether it's Jew, Arab, Christian, Muslim, it doesn't matter what, religion, race, nationality, it should be applied equally. Why? Has the government failed to act against the illegal building that is taking place in the Negev? You know, they always come back with the, the answer. It's always the priority. It's not the highest priority. It's not the highest priority. We'll get round to it. One day we'll get round to it. When that day comes, it's going to be too late. Uh, they just don't seem to understand how important it is and what a crisis we've got going down in the Negev. The, the police uh, don't seem to be paying as much attention also as they should be. When you approach them and ask them why or you give them the information, mm -hmm. What's their response? Interesting about the police. We went down with three buses during Sukkot recently. Uh, three buses down there. We needed a police convoy. The police would not let us go in to Hura, Lakia, to close to Al Zanug. These are Bedouin towns and villages. Some of them illegal, Lakia and Hura being legal. They wouldn't let us go into these legal Bedouin towns without a police convoy. So when Jews come down to the Negev, consensus, place that no one questions as being part of, of the land of Israel, then the police need to go and see us in and see us out, make sure nothing happens when we're there. So the police are very active when you want to come and take a look. They're totally inactive. They're told, don't go into these villages. It's too dangerous. We don't have the manpower to go and get things done there. The international community is very vocal when it comes to uh, Jewish building in Judea and Samaria. It's uh, readily condemned. Why has the uh, world community been silent with regard to this illegal building? So. This illegal building obviously isn't seen as a legal building because it's not done by Jews. Here there are tens of millions of dollars being funneled from the European Union, from countries in Europe, Norway, uh, from NGOs, from other organizations, funneling them into these NGOs in the south whose job it is to ensure the portrayal of the Bedouins in the Negev is an indigenous population, which obviously it's not. It's meant to ensure that they are seen as a poor, underprivileged uh, population so that the government has no way to change anything down there. They have to go along lock, stock and arrow exactly as they're told by these NGOs and as the Bedouins want. There's no chance for them to do anything and that's the pressure put on them by people overseas and by these organizations in Israel that are sending this terrible information overseas, which is totally untrue. Ari Briggs, International Director with Reg Regav.